Well, turning now to our partnership with George Washington University's Planet Forward, which seeks out innovative ideas to help our environment. Ethanol and biofuels have been criticized for wasting food to create energy. A Montana State University scientist says he can put an end to that with a competing biofuel using plant waste. Planet Forward host Frank Sesno has more. Here's an idea from our friends at the National Science Foundation. Research they're working on on fungi fuel, a kind of biodiesel that doesn't come from anything you'd find on your plate. Scientist Gary Strobel has spent 50 years traveling the world studying microorganisms that live inside plants called endophytes. He and his team at Montana State University think these little guys had a big part in making fossil fuels, a new theory that could change the way we think about oil. At least some of the ingredients of crude oil can be made uh, almost instantaneously, like a matter of days or a few weeks, not a hundred million years. Best of all, they grow in waste. We don't need refined sugar or starch or corn. Strobel and engineer Eric Booth can simulate the conditions of an ancient forest to make fossil fuels. In their invention, they call it the paleobiosphere. So it's given oxygen, just like a forest floor would have. It's given water, um, and it's allowed to, uh, to to circulate, much like we envision, um, you know, temperate rainforest from 100 million years ago. The fungus breaks down the plant material into hydrocarbons found in diesel. The hydrocarbons are trapped in layers of shale. They drain it, dry it, and heat it in an oven, releasing the fuel as a gas, then cooling it with liquid nitrogen. The gas is now condensed to a liquid, and uh, these are the hydrocarbons of in one of our tests. Promising, but it's not yet here. Strobel needs a few more years to find out how to increase his yield. If successful, though, this expensive experiment could lead to clean fuel at a small price. All we need is a little handful of plants. A true innovation that would speed up nature, turn fungus to fuel, and leave a better taste in everyone's mouth as we try to move the planet forward. For Planet Forward, I'm Frank Sesno. And if you have an idea you would like to submit, visit planetforward.org. And for more environmental and sustainability news, check out Bloomberg.com slash sustainability.